Namaste, my darlings. I'm uh, very happy uh, to greet you all on today's uh, quite spontaneous uh, Zoom call for our American Australian family. I'm actually very pleasantly like, surprised uh, how, like, uh, you know, step by step uh, is growing because uh, eventually uh, the American Australian family, uh, the uh, English group, I put it together quite spontaneously, exactly of all the English speaking participants who wanted to communicate with other people. And eventually, in a, such a very natural, smooth way, we already grew it for over 150 people. And we have participants from over 20 countries in our group. And this is uh, quite uh, inspiring. And uh, this is uh, truly that new way of collaboration for many from Australia to. Uh, you here. Uh -huh. I see. Uh, let's try it like this. Uh, there's some background music here. Uh, but tell me if I there's a lot of sounds of background that we can still hear. Still here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me try to move to a different uh, here location and uh, let's try. Let's try to see how it is over here. There's just, uh, as I'm right now located, um, uh, is this better? Okay. Yes, much better. better. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, um, um, I'm right now uh, traveling and I'm located right now in Dubai. Yeah, hey, Dennis. Uh, and for that reason, um, I came to sit down just uh, in a cafe, but there's some good Wi Fi. So sorry if there's some uh, uh, background sounds, uh, as uh, this is quite such a spontaneous uh, decision to make the call. Usually, typically, I try to do it from home. But as I'm right now traveling, uh, it seems we just have to look at the depth around the reality. But I'm happy that from here it's more peaceful. I can feel myself with the sound from uh, uh, the sound from uh, the cafe is becoming more and more quiet. So now you hear me nicely. And now there's uh, no strong background sound. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Well, uh, Let's try to do the best. I'll try to speak louder and I'll try to speak such interesting information that you will forget about the background sound and focus totally on the things that I share. Uh, well, uh, uh, I uh, want to greet everyone and I want to give gratitude to you that you found today on Sunday morning the time to join us for a Zoom call. Um, Zoom call from our international and Australia community. We truly have uh, an awesome group for which we can see spontaneously and naturally in its own way to 150 people. And uh, this is inspiring. Uh, as uh, this for me personally, it shows me that the world is uh, ready for the world becoming more and more curious about the most uh, ancient uh, uh, ally of humanity which we have in the world from the Mushroom Kingdom. And uh, eventually, uh, we're right now coming to a stage where Amanita Muscari is becoming more and more public. Right now, uh, in Russia, it's already became a very big topic as um, from the moment when we started uh, to organize or create the Amanita Muscari microdose, already more than 400,000 people have tried and have worked in the last three years with Amanita Muscari. And now the moment has came uh, more and more to spread out the news about the work of Amanita towards other countries and other places around the world. So uh, now we came to a point that uh, Amanita, they're starting to show, to show more and more about it on the news, in newspapers, the scientific studies, which the different, different countries which are made uh, are becoming more and more popular. Um, and eventually we can see that there's scientific researches which are done in Russia, which are done in Canada, which are done in Germany. And all of them uh, are showing uh, really
really inspiring results. So today, I felt that as our community grows, uh, just to share with you uh, maybe some uh, interesting information, insights, and updates. And to answer any questions which uh, for you, uh, let's say, it's interesting to discover, as currently in the English speaking world, uh, there's not so many people uh, which, uh, let's say, are fond and know all the results of the development from a scientific way and a practical way of working with Amanita, how it all happens. So I got uh, the feeling and a call from Amanita to organize the poll. So to share with uh, everyone uh, all of the answers, of course, uh, any questions, what they are. Uh, what come up and at the same time um, um, in the beginning I'll just share some important and interesting information which I want to be spread out about the Manita Muscaria well, which um, no, with this information is um, this will allow Manita to comment uh, to the people in the right way under the right angle so everybody could benefit from it so uh, First of all, um, I want to share uh, some important things about the work of Manita. That right now, for example, like in Russia and in Switzerland, um, even the news, uh, the public news, they're starting to become more and more curious about it. And I get more and more uh, writings from people asking me about the Manita. But well, the interesting thing that uh, even in Russia, many people were focusing on microdosing. Then uh, the questions which I often get asked uh, by the international participants is how much a manita I need to eat to go to a spiritual journey. And eventually what I see, that there's uh, one, um, it's not a misconcern, but it's um, an aspect with the experience of I mean, with the magical mushrooms that people um, approach a manita uh, like a magical mushroom or like ayahuasca that it's a medicine plant that you have to consume and use it in a big dosage. And that is from the big dosage, this is the experience that you need to get. So, and this is uh, one of the things which I really want to share to everyone that Amanita Muscaria, the most effective way to work with it is through microdosing. The microdosing is the safest and the most, most effective way how you can work with Amanita. If somebody of your friends wants to try it, always recommend only microdosing. Because the aspect of using a high dosage, it is uh, literally dangerous for a person. Not in a health way, you won't get poisoned. But that the control over your body and the experience that might happen will be totally different from what are the psychedelic mushrooms are offering or ayahuasca or peyote or any other medicine plant. Because um, um, Amanita, it is um, uh, not a psychedelic, but it's more hallucinogenic mushroom. So, which means that people will lose contact with the understanding, are there on a spiritual journey or are there in a physical world? And uh, people who have participated uh, by me in the ceremonies, which uh, I lead very, very, very rare, usually for winter solstice or equinox, they know how dangerous it could be that a person could lose fully control over his avatar. He might be screaming, shouting, he might be hitting himself, he can get injuries and not feel anything. And even if he would get cut, he won't feel anything because his consciousness would be in a different state and in a different place. And of that reason, the only negative stories which you can ever hear about the Manita Muscaria, it is from the people who tried a big dosage. So for that reason, uh, so to literally protect the Manita and the sacred plant uh, from um, providing people uh, that healing, uh, and that spiritual connection and those wonderful working results uh, uh, which it can, I inspire everyone from our community to, let's say, to spread out the work and to share this wisdom that working with Amanita should happen only in microdosing way. And only when you have done it, and eventually with some time and experience, only then uh, with, uh, let's say, a shaman or with a professional sitter, 
with people, only then uh, you could try to do a higher dosage. But uh, the effectiveness uh, of the work with Amanita, uh, it happens the best way in a microdosing way. Why it's like that? So um, inside of Amanita, we have more than 15 different uh, healing elements, which all of them bring a benefit. First of all, it helps to kill parasites. It uh, helps to clean the body from uh, all of the things which don't belong to us. Uh, I'll give an example that when you're starting to microdose, the first seven, ten days, by every person, it happens in a very individual way. So sometimes uh, people want to sleep. Sometimes people want to go to the toilet for it. And uh, eventually, during this uh, first week, uh, every, by every person, this experience is individual. So Amanita approaches every human body in an individual way, and how it will be by you? Well, it is for you to discover. But most of all, before you start to do it, you ask for cue, you ask for support, you ask for transformation. So eventually, um, after you go through the first seven, ten days of working with the microdose, then the effect of Amanita becomes stable. And it will work in a very simple way. That in the morning, it will work by coffee. You will literally get an energy boost. You will get a coherent boost. You will literally hear. You will have a very clear mind. And you will have a lot of energy that you can use for anything about what you decide. Uh, Afterwards, so uh, that's why the first seven, ten days, if you want to microdose or you recommend any of your friends or people, then uh, eventually uh, this um, always share this wisdom. That the first seven, ten days, your body might react individually. Um, I have, uh, let's say, people who I supported with the microdosing and, for example, I'm, uh, a friend, uh, he's from Estonia, and together with his um, uh, a friend who, who put together uh, the writing, the trance music, uh, they were quite amazed that for the first, like, three, four days by them, they were feeling that something is happening inside of their bodies, inside of their stomachs. Then on the fifth day, uh, he didn't know who to discuss, but uh, when they went uh, to the toilet, same as he and his friend, they got out, uh, but I'll just show you how long. They got out such long words out of their butt. Parasites. That eventually they got out uh, from their systems such parasites which they never thought that existed. And if, uh, let's say, women know better about like cleansing and etc., then I can tell you that for a man to experience this uh, becomes a very tra traumatic experience. I can tell you that. Which one they didn't know it was good to share or good to discuss. And I was wondering if it's normal or not. But eventually, after that, uh, their uh, habits improved and uh, their aspect of sleep has totally changed. They stopped wanting uh, to eat specific stuff. They started to, to lose more, they started to pass more, they got a lot more energy. And the results of this uh, work, they brought them that within uh, two months, they started to write such music that is right now in the top charts of the European uh, trans community. So uh, eventually, uh, how Amanita will help you and how it will reflect in your body in the first period, it is very individual. So, but to make this work effective, you just have to give yourself the time that you need. If you want to sleep, sleep. If you want to relax more, relax. Because very often, uh, we have a very developed mind, especially in our Western cultures, and when we're focused on that, what we need to do. We don't listen to ourselves. We don't listen to our feelings. We don't listen to our body. We just know we have to wake up at this time. We have to do this. I have to do that. And as a result, we ignore the most important person in our lives, ourselves and our bodies. Our bodies are constantly communicating with us. They always are telling us all of the right answers. And they always are giving us hints on everything that we have to do. And until we won't synchronize 
our soul and uh, our mind with our body in a deep way, we will uh, boost energy, we will uh, create uh, amusement upon our system, which eventually exactly develops different types of sicknesses. So um, uh, I'll give a very simple example. This I teach that all of the problems in human life, the whole his health issues, it appears from a conflict which happens inside between the mind and the soul. So when the soul doesn't have the opportunity um, to control the mind, and the mind is just acting in the way that it wants, it creates pain inside. Our soul is the most important thing in our avatar. And if our soul is in pain, it starts to create sicknesses. So how it looks like. So first we have the vibration inside that our soul is hurt. It doesn't agree with what we do. For example, we dedicate too much time to work or we dedicate too much time, you know, let's say, or we break the principles which are close to the values that we carry in our soul. But we still do them. And eventually our soul doesn't like it. It tries to send the message like, switch your actions, do something different. Like, why are you doing this? But the mind is blocking it, saying, no, it's okay. I just have to do this right now because that's how I will reach success or on the work they told me to do that or this and that. And as a result, the pain starts to hurt. Uh, the soul starts to hurt. This vibration, if we don't listen to our soul, it starts to transform that this pain comes out of our physical body. There's such a knowledge called Ayurvedic knowledge. Ayurveda, it comes from the previous civilization from India, where they have studied profoundly what is the connection between our physical body, emotional body, mental body, and how our soul plays through it, and how a conflict that appears between our soul and our mind can reflect in a sickness. Um, so, uh, yes, right now the kids are awake and uh, right now I hope it uh, became better. So, eventually, uh, if we have a conflict inside and this pain vibrates, then uh, our body, it's a mirror of our soul. So every time when you look at the person, you can easily see just observing on his body, on his eyes, face and body, what is happening inside of him because uh, the body is the mirror of the soul of the person and all of the conflicts that happen inside. So if the conflict is not solved and the pain continues, it appears as a different sickness in the body. If we ignore the sickness and we don't start to deal with it, then a chronic sickness develops. So uh, a chronic sickness is when a person didn't understand the conflict between his soul and mind for so long inside of him that the body got a chronic sickness. After that, if the chronic sickness uh, and the person is still ignoring what his soul wants, the soul literally just uh, creates a death sickness or it liquidates uh, the body of the human. In a practical way, that is the moment when a person, for example, gets cancer. So when you have friends or you know people who have cancer, it typically shows that these people are very unhappy inside. They might be showing what they want to the people. They might be successful and famous, but they're very unhappy inside. And through this, the soul, it just decides, I don't need this body anymore. I don't need to, uh, to use it. I would rather delete it, kill it, and go for the next reincarnation. Is the same as you can imagine that uh, in a computer game or you control the character you want to play or the character just starts to do stupid things what you don't want to do and eventually you give it a chance but if you don't get control over the character that you're playing you will just close the game and start a new one so this is what typically happens when people are getting uh, very deathly sick or some uh, very deep sicknesses it's a conflict between the mind and the soul. And until there's no clearance of the lesson and the understanding of this conflict, the person will continue to get more sick. That's why uh, uh, when people even right now have cancers and they get operations,
they don't recover or they get cancer in different part of the body. Because until our soul is not happy, until our soul won't have uh, the connection with our body, it will continue to destroy. So that reason, the foremost, you have to know that uh, if you want to be a happy person and a healthy person, or it is both connected, happiness and health are one. Because when you're happy, it means that uh, you're connected with your soul. You're connected with what is important with you, which are your values, which are your desires. And through that, through this vibration of happiness, your body will be always healthy. You will always have a lot of energy. You will always have the strength to achieve and to accomplish anything that you desire, what you want. So if you ever meet or you see friends who have problems uh, and have sicknesses, focus them not on visiting doctors, but focus them on finding the answer inside of them. Where are those topics where they're lying to themselves? Where are those topics where they uh, are not in line with their values and the things they want to do? Because the moment they will be find for themselves the answers to this question, that is the moment when the magical healing will happen. Because all of the magic, it's inside of us. And why I'm sharing this, that Amanita is not a magical pill. It won't heal you from sicknesses. It won't like uh, uh, give you the results which you desire if you won't do your own conscious work. You have to understand that the Manita is an ally. It gives us energy, it gives us strength, it allows our reptilian brain to become quiet. But during this process in time, when you have the control with your soul over your mind, you have to do the work. You have to make those conclusions which will bring transformation. You have to act in a new way. Because if you won't do it, then during the microdosing period, you're going to have this moment that you become peaceful, or you have more energy, and you will see certain benefits in health. But big changes, they won't come. The effectiveness of the person who is working with the manita in a conscious way, or and the person who is just simply eating the microdose, the effectiveness can vary more than in 100 times. You understand? In 100 times. Not 20%. You know, not 200%, but in hundreds of times. Why? Because this is your body. This is your life. This is your responsibility to show what you want. And if you won't take care of yourself, nobody will break, let's say, the law of your natural development. But if you're requesting for healing, but if, if you're doing the work, then help can be given. Help is given only to the people who ask for help. And nobody can break your natural state of development if you're not ready for the change. So that reason, the work with Amanita and the effectiveness of the work with Amanita, it is very individual. And it's really based upon your personal readiness of carrying responsibility for your life. If you're ready for a change, and you're asking for the change, and during the moment when you get the energy to make the change, you're gonna have amazing results. You can receive in one month of effective work with the Manita Muscaria, such development boost, which you won't get in three years or five years of work even with a psychotherapist or whatsoever. It can be unbelievable, but this magic which happens, it happens, only to the ones who carry responsibility for their lives, who say what they want to have, and eventually act, create new habits, create new patterns, and allow themselves to let go of all of the pain and all the things which were stuck inside, and become honest, honest with yourself. Because honesty with yourself, this is the number one thing what everybody should have in their lives. If you're not honest with yourself, don't be surprised that, that you have problems in your life. Don't be surprised that you have sicknesses or you don't have energy for that and this. 
until you will synchronize uh, your mind with your soul that your actions in that life for which you came here to live that it would exist there will always come different type of problems you will block yourself from the soul level and create problems for yourself so to become awakened and if you don't want to become awakened eventually the soul will just destroy the avatar or destroy your life or create for yourself problems so that's why uh, during the microdosing period i highly inspire you to focus on yourself not to focus on work not to focus on the family not to focus on the outside world but finally focus on yourself if your consciousness and your attention not to the surrounding world but what is happening inside all of the answers are inside you have to understand that the system the modern system it works that it tries to steal our attention and it starts up and tries to focus it on the things outside through that we lose our energy of our avatars and souls and we give it away to the system but this doesn't bring any change but if you're going to focus during the micro uh, dosing period not on the outside world but you will finally focus on yourself in understanding what is my soul what is for me my happiness what it means for me to be myself and at the same time to make it clear and this is a very important thing to make it clear why did my soul come here why did my soul come to this physical world For which exact experience what i came here to experience and to do and to create this is what is important because once you will understand it once you're going to put it on your conscious level of mind your destiny or let's say not destiny there's a beautiful word in buddhism it's called the karma so there's karma everybody knows about it but very few people know of the karma so the karma it is exactly the path of the soul so every soul has here a specific I like to say game a specific experience path that it needs to fulfill and until the soul the avatar are not doing this experience in this lifetime then uh, there is a conflict and in life everything works in a hard way but the moment you synchronize with your true desire and you synchronize uh, with that truth for which you came here for that is the moment you're gonna open and you will start to play i like to call it the karma game or the game of your soul the path of your soul and then in your life it will start to transform you will become happy you will become healthy you're gonna meet awesome people in your life your life will start to become looking like as if you're watching not some kind of, you know first it will become like a film like a magical film then will become like series where like every day you don't know what will happen and then eventually you'll come to a point that your life will become like a fairy tale because every day you don't know how you know, like what will happen but something awesome will happen something will happen with you requested by your soul and then life becomes interesting it will become in the same interesting way to wake up in the morning as you did when you were four or five years old do you remember how interesting it was when we were four or five years old? You wake up, you just want to go and run out to the garden and just to go and play with nature or how interesting it is to play with friends. You just every day think out different games, you think out different things, you study all the time. And every day it's magical, it's like filled with magic. And this is exactly that level which every human should have in his life. If you're not living this enjoyable life, then there's some topics which you have to make clear for yourself, in which you are maybe are lying or not in line between your soul and your mind. Because once you align this, life becomes magical. And in the films that you see is what they show sometimes in Hollywood. It's not fiction. It's just from real people who are truly living their lives. If you saw the uh, things that happen, it is truly the people who are just synchronized with their souls and their lives are overwhelmed with those beautiful adventures of which others just make films. Just uh, normal people, they cannot believe that this could be true. But it is true. 
these are just awakened people who are living their lives in a whole fulfilling way because they focus on themselves, because they are, have their energy, which they focus on what is important for them and not what is important for the surrounding system, people, or whatsoever. So, Amanita Muscaria is exactly that goal. So you were asking, you asked for help, you wanted to find answers for yourself, you want to become happy. Well, the time is now. Amanita came to help to the ones who are seeking the help, who are asking the help. Right now, especially in the Western world, in the next two years, two, three years, but especially now the first two years, Amanita will come only to the most sincere spiritual seekers. So everybody who is right now on the call, Amanita and the spirits have already tested you. They see you have shown your power of strength, you have shown your sincerity, you have asked or requesting for help, and now you have the opportunity to get it. But no, that magic will happen only through your own actions. You're gonna get from Amanita strength. You're gonna get from Amanita willpower. You're gonna get from Amanita peacefulness inside. But it's only up to you to act and to use this opportunity. Because if you don't act and you'll repeat your old algorithms of your behavior, of your patterns, and you'll continue to spend time with people who don't bring you happiness, or doing projects which don't bring you happiness and inspiration. And you will uh, waste your time on things which don't bring you happiness, inspiration, and energy. Don't be surprised that no change will happen. You will have a change during the microdosing, but then it will all fall back on our old neural pathways which we have in our mindset. So that is why it is so important to be an adult person when you're working with a manita. And not a child. People who like to use uh, magical mushrooms, most of them are children because uh, they don't carry responsibility for their lives. They got an experience which they really like. It was something unusual. And uh, eventually they continue to hope that the magic will continue to happen. And that through this magic, something will change. No, it won't. If you will pay attention to many of your friends uh, who are using magical mushrooms or other things for a long time, does their life change strongly? Pay attention on that. As uh, the difference between the manita and let's say, as I said, ayahuasca, magical mushrooms, peyote, wild Hawaii rose, and many others. These medicines, they guide you towards the spiritual world. They guide you to be connected to seeing like thin world spirits. And it's interesting. But a manita, it won't guide you to the illusion. It will guide you to yourself because the truth is inside of you. The truth is inside of our consciousness, of our souls, of our avatars. That's why Amanita is so grounding. That's why Amanita doesn't give you any psychedelic effects because in the psychedelic world, there's no answers for us. Our answers lies within us. That's why when you use Amanita, you become very settled. You become very confident. You become very clear. Your mind becomes very sharp. And through this, you can reach unbelievable results during this short amount of time that you're working with the money. And the beautiful thing that everything, you know, everything that you develop during the microdosing period will stay with you forever because these are your neural pathways. This is your head, this is your brain. And everything, every new habit that you implement, every new conclusion that you will do, everything will stay with you compared to, for example, uh, microdosing LSD or microdosing magical mushrooms. They, for them, while you work, you have effect. Once you stop, it disappears. So here, you just have to know and understand that you have a tool. The Manita Muscaria is a tool, but you're the magic. Your mind and consciousness and soul, this is the magic. And if you want to make magic real, you have to give commands. You have to do the work like a programmer. For example, when IT, we know that a programmer, he can create a beautiful world of anything what he desires. 
but it's the programmer who is typing in the code. If the programmer won't type in the code, nothing will happen. So understand this in the same way about your mind and consciousness. You're the one who is giving the command. And if you won't give the command and then follow what you want, nothing will happen. And so that it would happen effectively and you will see the logic of the command and how it works, you have to be conscious and present in the analysis of all of this. Because you have to analyze and to see which answers are coming from the inside, and which answers are also coming from the outside, as it's all you. Your consciousness is not only inside of you, your consciousness is around everything. Every person is part of your consciousness. That's why every person is a part of the answer, but for you, but if you don't listen to yourself, to yourself and the others, then it's very easy to be lost. So that reason, exactly, Manita eventually, especially in the 1926 century, was banned because they had to create a society where people are not connected with their soul and a society which doesn't think by themselves, but thinks through the news, things through the politicians, things through the science, things that they think by themselves. But actually, all of the things and the mindsets and things are inside we give of them as a program by the outside world. And rather than to give the answers by themselves, they give away the power over their lives in trusting the outside world. So that reason, exactly, Amanita, came to assist us to connect with ourselves and once you connect with yourself magic happens you become so self-efficient you become so strong you become so confident that no matter what happens in your life you will never betray yourself you'll always be honest with yourself and as a result honest with the surrounding world and when you have the strength to speak openly and honestly on anything what is important for you, you better get it. If you will think about the people in your life who are very charismatic, you'll see that these people are just honest. They just say what they feel. They just say what they want. They don't adapt. They don't blend in. If they don't like something, they say it. If they don't want to do it, they say it. If they want something, they say it. They don't try to blend in to the surrounding uh, society. They are just themselves. Being yourself is one of the highest forms of spirituality or reflection of the spiritual development of a human being in this life form. It is so rare when we meet honest and real people in our lives. And they always have that strength which sparks up inside of us our souls in remembering that we can be also free because the freedom, it comes from the inside. Where the person is free, and he can be himself in all of the ways. If you're angry, you show anger. If you're happy, you show happiness. If you want to cry, you cry. You're just yourself. And this is the strength. And we right now are living in a world where everybody are trying to adapt to each other, rather than uh, to adapt to their own souls. And that's why we feel everything is so fake around because everybody just blends in under each other rather than just to blend in under their own souls. So that reason, just know, when you're starting to work with Amanita, you have to do the work. You have to decide for yourself what you want. And then the great spirit and the energies can assist you and help you in this transformation. Open the pathways of supporting you in the things that you have requested. It's the same as if you would have uh, a rich dad who is the king or who is the god who can give you anything. He, and he has many children. So when the child comes in and the father would only give what the child asks for. If the child doesn't ask for that, it means he's not ready. And that would be like breaking the natural development of the child. But if the child asks the question, if the child asks for this, then the father, of course, smiles and says, of course, here you are. Here's the strength, or here's the opportunity, or here's what you were asking for. 
But if the child is not asking, he's not ready. And that's why the father, he will never give the child for what he is not ready for. The same with Amanita. Amanita approaches everybody very, very individual, like totally individual. You will be connected with your soul. And if you're ready, formally speak what you want and be surprised how you will get the answers, that you will get the opportunities, and that you will get uh, the strength to achieve what you ask for. So that's why this is like one of the things uh, why I'm right now preparing the book about the Manita and the work and the understanding that not the Manita is the magic, but we're the magic. And our exactly freedom and the strength which we have already inside of our avatars, this is the most unbelievable thing. Just the Manita is the best ally. It was created by the mushroom world to assist us to share the wisdom, to share the knowledge of what the mushroom world has gathered. As you know, the, we have on our planet three types of living kingdoms. One is the plant kingdom, second is the living kingdom with all the animals and humans included. And the third kingdom, the most ancient kingdom, is the mushroom kingdom. Our planet is over 4 billion years old. Mushrooms were there almost 4 billion years ago. The plant and the human forms, they appeared like about 500 million years ago. You can understand how much older is the mushroom world. And they have the answers to everything because uh, like a database, they have saved all of the information inside of them. So that's why to give an answer to your simple questions in life is just nothing. You understand? It's just nothing for them. But they will, will have so much to offer that they will only give what you request. Them. So that reason, the mushroom world has decided to create for the connection exactly with humanity a specific mushroom, which will be the most honest, the most direct way of communicating and assisting the soul to achieve that what is needed in this physical reality. And this is exactly Amanita Muscaria. And this is the reason why you know, Amanita Muscaria was called the king of mushrooms by all shamans and all spiritual practitioners throughout the whole history of humanity. Because a more sincere, a more direct, and a more effective tool uh, on the planet, I personally haven't found. And I traveled all around the world. I participated. You don't imagine how many like ceremonies and meeting with so many different shamans and mages and whatsoever. And I can tell you that this is the most honest, the most direct, and the most effective way for the ones who are doing the work by themselves. So that's why Amanita, uh, it's exactly that one who can give you a lot of strength and get so much assistance in your transformation. It's your transformation. It's not Amanita changing, it's your changing yourself. It's you requesting the change. So that's why the effectiveness of a manita by people who are just microdosing or the ones who are speaking are connecting with the uh, manita muscaria can vary up more than a hundred times. And this I experienced in my personal life profound. If you ask, it will be given to you. If you don't ask, it won't be given to you. If you act, you will get transformations. If you don't act new, you're going to stay the same after you finish microdosing. And if you want to request it for healing, you will heal. Maybe at some point uh, it will be painful to look inside on the topics in which you were lying to yourself all of your life. But uh, through the pain will go away the sickness. As you will let go of the pain, it will allow you to transform and to become yourself. So the magic uh, is not a manita. The magic is you. And if you're ready to see the magic, which you have inside. The Amanita will happily help you and guide you. So that's why Amanita, especially for the next two years, to the Western world and to all the parts of the English speaking community, it will come to the spiritual seekers who are already doing work upon themselves. And to the normal people, uh, it will come out more than in about three years. 
then it will open its doors to all of the normal people to assist them with their more typical and normal feelings. But for now, it is most important that the most developed people or the souls that have gathered the biggest amount of life experience and this is are the ones who are right now the highest value to the Amanita spirit. And in our group who are exactly those people who I said who are asking, who are acting and who are wanting to have a change and an instrument to reach those transformations which you were wanting. So that's why I inspire and share and spread even the news that Amanita Muscaria is first of all is created for my production. The magic is you. The magic will happen only if you request. The results of the transformation will happen only if you act. And be ready for magic to happen and be open to the transformations and the opportunities that Amanita Muscaria will bring. So, right now, I will open the chat and uh, share uh, the answers to the questions and the comments uh, which were requested. So, uh, does, uh, so, uh, Aya Nia, does long-term microdosing have more benefits than uh, uh, intermittent microdosing? Like microdosing for six months or microdosing for two months? Give a break and start again. Should we ever stop microdosing? So, the most effective way, as I hope that maybe during the lecture you already understood, the change happens not from microdosing. The change happens through the work that you do upon yourself. I educate and assist people that during one month or two months to get set results of transformation, which they cannot receive like in three, four years. But we do the work. We do the work. They get fascinating, unbelievable, magical results within this microdosing period of two months. So it looks like he kind of lost the signal, huh? So how is everybody out there? Very well, thank you. How are you? <laughs> I, I'm I'm really fine. Um, I maybe can share something until what is coming back again. Um, Love. Yeah, it it is really important to uh, keep on working on myself. You know. 
So uh, if I don't progress and do my steps, Amanita will also show you the bad things, you know. And uh, so I'm, I'm really landed in a school where I really have, to, I decided to go do this celebration, you know, and I had a big process and uh, now there is no way back. So uh, it's so beautiful and it's also very, very cha challenging, you know. So, uh, but I decided to go this way. I probably prepared myself for my whole life uh, for this moment to get in touch with Amanita Muscaria and now I'm really called to do my work and yeah, do maybe also the work for others, whatever. So uh, yeah, that's uh, a beautiful journey. Sometimes I hate it, but uh, most of the time I really enjoy it. <laughs> so what about you guys? How, lo how long you taking it already? Uh, I started in, yeah, I think in October and I, almost use little dosages like 0 0.03 grams or 0 0.1 grams or 0 0.4 grams and at the celebration I had 15 grams but there was also Vadim you know and uh, he's a shaman and he kind of mm. the people I helped me go through you know because I was one of them leaving the body you know and uh, yeah now I just I, I always tune in into myself to to decide uh, should I microdose today or sh shouldn't I so um, and also with the amount I really try to find out what is the best way and every day see if I'm taking it or I'm not taking it do I take it for the night or do I have a specific question so um, yeah and <laughs> yeah and it's really for me I have also the experience that I once did not ask for anything for three days, you know, and I kind of landed in a, in a state like hell, you know, everything was not so good. So um, I would uh, recommend to always keep on asking for good days, for good evenings, for good meetings, for whatever, you know, because uh, when I don't do that, you know, maybe my people around me decide what's from, up for me, you know, so that's also a great experience I got in the last few weeks. So no. Hmm. And did you try to stop to take in Amanita? Yeah, I I had I I stopped for five or seven days, uh, and that, that that's no problem. I think uh, a part is still here, and uh, I also see that it, with the connection with Vadim and other people here in Switzerland, you know, uh, there is a will be group. Um, I always get again in touch with it, you know. Also, Wadim told me once, um, yeah, after the celebration, you don't probably don't need that much anymore, you know, but you can decide to take a little bit to just get more in touch with the essence again. So, um, but I don't think I will, I have a reason to stop. I really stopped drinking alcohol, you know. Uh, I, I liked yeah. wine a lot, you know, and now I'm just to celebrate some little things. I take a glass, but it's gone. And I was a, a, a wine lover, you know, so uh, I probably seek with the wine something that I now found with Amanita Muscaria or I found with my own consciousness, you know, so, um, yeah, that's really interesting. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I'm taking it for like four weeks already and um, Amanita was doing for me wow great like I'm a different person a lot of happy and joy and uh, a lot of faith and uh, she gave me the willpower to to be myself and um, I'm afraid uh, what's going to happen <laughs> next. Like, uh, I don't want to stop. And what's going to happen if, I w if I'm going to stop to taking it? And uh, because I started to have a uh, stomach pain and I'm wondering if I'm taking it uh, right or wrong or uh, to try to make tea. I try to make tea of it. And today it was the first day that I take it like a liquid and not a powder so i have a lot of questions 
and don't have answers. Can I just say, if if because I've been working, I've been microdosing um, with Amanita for about a year on and off, and mm -hmm. if um, if you get crampy, twitchy, and cramps and stomach stuff going on, it's the it's probably ibotenic acid. So yes. you just you just got to like ease off a little bit. That's all. It's just your body saying, oh, you know, and just ease off. But it's it's really I think what happens is when you when you microdose with it, you sort of you get to that point where your body says, oh, actually, no, stop now. You don't need any more. And you can have that break. You have a little break and then, you know, when you're ready to go back to it. But the one the one thing that I find quite incredible about the medicine is how you back in touch with your passion and the things that you love to do when you're a child it brings back the, the such a child and um, reignites passion and things that make makes your heart sing and I and I really feel for me it helps you to really live from your heart from that from that real place of the heart oh you're back sorry <laughs> Oh, that's so beautiful. So much enjoyed listening uh, to what you shared. And that was exactly, that's exactly a beautiful, beautiful, exactly uh, example to what the Manita Moscata needs to bring. And where it wants for people to come and to, to what to connect. So, thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, very beautiful to hear such an example and it's uh, truly no uh, it is truly a great example and this is uh, on what I personally always focus on um, the work when we're doing together with people on the Manita is being happy this is the true essence if you're happy well the rest will unfold and happiness uh, is the language um, of our soul if we're connected with our souls we feel happy if we're not connected with our souls, no matter how correct, good um, you're doing, or let's say how much money, fame, or whatsoever you have, it won't bring that for what we came for. But if you're happy, then uh, you will truly will be invincible. You will truly have every day in the same beautiful, enjoyable way as uh, we were having and living it when we were small. And we were children. Uh, and uh, yeah, and maybe I'll uh, finish uh, the answer towards the question uh, about the microdosing. So yes, the uh, Jackie said everything correct. You microdose for some period of time, best of all, like two months, maybe like three months, if you're going through transformation. And then you make a stop. And once you make the stop, you will see that everything what you have developed everything what you have implemented you'll see that you already became a new person you'll see the results of your work and it stays with you and you continue working upon yourself and then let's say in three months six months or in uh, like nine months once you feel for the next let's say step of your development for the next job in your development you then again come to the microdose and you formulate again your request you formulate the things you want to change. You formulate um, by understanding um, throughout this time what you need. You speak it out. You put it out. And then you're going to make the next jump. The next jump towards connecting with yourself. So that's why yeah, I educate and I inspire people um, to microdose um, from one to three months and then to make a stop. And then afterwards um, to go again for the next jump. This dynamics brings the highest results. Because if you're always under microdosing, then it means you're not doing the work upon yourself. And then you're using um, the Amanita Muscaria spirit. Uh, how's it in English? You know, when you break a foot and then you're like walking with a stick. So, uh, um, you mean like a crutch? You use it as a crutch yes. to leave? Yes. Yes, exactly, like a crutch. So a Manita Muscaria is not a crutch. Uh, it doesn't want you to use it as a crutch. It wants you to see your strength. It wants for you to see your power. It wants for you to be fulfilled. 
and uh, that's why using Cabernet Muscaria uh, constantly it makes it as a crunch and you don't feel your power then you it just shows that uh, there's a sub personality inside of you who is uh, just uh, you know, abusing that power which is given so for, for that reason remember Amanita Muscaria is not a crunch uh, it's a tool for you to work to walk again by yourself in full strength power and happiness so that's why microdose for two three months while you have the transformation and then move on and then once uh, you are you're again stuck or you feel that you came to the stop when you're ready to make the next jump you again do it and i personally and during this break if you have a situation when it's like really hardcore or you really need to solve something what you don't know so to solve you can easily just take this a small microdosing give your prayer take it and get let's say the support during this time but uh, um, i don't inspire and recommend people to use uh, microdosing always it, it will uh, you can do it but the effectiveness it lowers down and uh, people can uh, let's say yeah, uh, they don't get lost but eventually they just start feeling the magic and when should you stop microdosing uh, well i recommend like this that if you forget to take the microdosing like for a couple of days it means it's enough it means you're already overwhelmed and you have everything what you need for right now so if you forget to take your microdose uh, between like two three days just it means uh, you're ready you're good and the other thing how you can also test i recommend by taste so some are using pills, some are using fret, like the mushroom, the dry one. So you will might pay attention that when you're just starting to microdose, the mushroom tastes awesome. You know, it's really tasty. But then after like two or three months, if you take in, the taste becomes normal. You know, it becomes kind of plain. And sometimes uh, for some people, it even becomes not so tasty. So for our tongue, it's uh, actually one of the most genius machines uh, in biochemistry, which allows us to understand what do we need from life. So from those things that we eat. So if we eat and we feel that it's tasty for us, uh, then eventually it means that this um, natural component or this um, mushroom or anything from nature has right now those elements which are important for our bodies. So, uh, and when it loses this uh, sweetness and this taste, it means our body has enough. So it's the same uh, comparison with oranges. If you eat oranges and they're tasty for you, they're healthy for you. If you'll eat oranges every day, then uh, in like one, two months, you're gonna get sick of them because your body system will have everything what it needs from the oranges and you need to let them go. But then when you make a stop for you know, half a year or so, then you will again become taste, you will get the taste for them because uh, maybe our body has worked out all of the vitamin C that it got from them and it needs a new boost. So everything is simple. Just pay attention on yourself, on your feeling and taste. So I'll go for the next comment and next question. Ah, uh, it got deleted by me. Uh, would you please um, mm, uh, some copy paste um, uh, the questions uh, which were written down or the comments in our chat? Because uh, I right now had to reboot my phone to get again online, and unfortunately they got lost. Or, or if you want, <laughs> and you feel like it, you can also uh, simply. Uh huh. Here, I'm re thank you very much, Stefan. Um, I'm still in the state of depression and anxiety. Uh, really unhappy, blocked from my soul. Don't feel any results or effects from Amanita concerning uh, willpower. I uh, feel uncomfortable all day long in my skin. No steps in direction light yet. Still have no power to change my situation. No progress at all, even worse. Well, you have to also understand that most probably, Stefan, you're, um, are you right now consuming any type of medications? 
are you right now using any type of depressants, antidepressants, or opioids, uh, or anything uh, from the pharmaceutical <clears throat> industry? No. So your right now uh, are totally clean from the impact of any pharmaceuticals. Yes, no drugs. Very good. And uh, uh, for uh, for how long? Uh, uh, how long are you right now not using anything? When did you stop? Um, I quit everything during the microdose process. Very good. So, uh, and how long were you using um, those medications uh, before microdosing? How long you had to use the pharmaceutical? Maybe five months or so, something like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, this is uh, one of the things uh, what people uh, say. Uh, many don't know or don't know about pharmaceuticals, why they're so like dangerous for our bodies and why is nature is safe for us. That uh, when we're using, let's say, natural components then all of the elements, let's say, in the Manita Muscata, for example, there's not one element that is healing. It has more than 15 components. So in a, uh, let's say, a biological micro level, when you look at it, then every element is separated, but all of them make one big picture. So when we speak about pharmaceutical pills, then they usually just find one healing element from somewhere, and then they make a copy. They make a copy and they make a crystal where all of the elements are very, very strongly compressed with each other, through which when it enters our body, our body doesn't know how to... Um, how to, let's say, separate these elements when they're all are stick so strongly together. So some researchers uh, showed that uh, by, for example, when people are eating vitamin C, then uh, our body can only observe 1% sometimes from the pill of the vitamin C what we eat. So that's why even though you would read that, for example, in the vitamin C, you have like 100 milligrams of vitamin C, eventually the body can absorb, digest, and to use it for our body, only 1%. And the 90 over percent, some, they go out, and the percentage stays inside of our bodies, inside of our immune system, you know, like inside of our bodies, getting stuck. So through that, people are um, from pharmaceuticals very often. They don't heal until the end, and they become more sicker with time, because when they eat uh, for a long time the pills, because um, literally part of the elements of the pills that remain in our body, and until it's not cleansed, it is very hard for our body to go in a natural form of work. So when we're using nature components like amanita or any other plants, um, our body takes what it needs, and if it doesn't need the component, it all goes out, like easily goes out. So through that, nothing is being stuck in our body except the things what we need. So if you were using for five months pharmaceutical, let's say, yeah, antidepressants or any type of drugs, then you have to understand that you have to go through a process of cleansing. I'm very, very happy that uh, you um, are now free from uh, the pharmaceuticals. So now you need to make the next step. The next step is to clean your body to clean your body from the toxins and to clean yourself from the things uh, you know, which are uh, have been stuck inside of you through this healing process with the pharmaceuticals. One of the best ways, um, what I recommend, is fasting. Fasting creates the most effective way how our body self efficient destroys and cleans itself from the inside. So in the beginning, um, uh, it might be, um, uh, let's say, uh, um, I'll share with you the insight. So in 2018, uh, one uh, Japanese scientist, he got the Nobel Prize in biology for discovering such a process, which he called um, autophagia. So from Latin language, auto, it means uh, like uh, self, phagia means eating the process of self-eating. 
So, uh, and this happens uh, inside of our body during fasting on the third day. So uh, when we stop eating and we're allowing our bodies uh, to do the work on the inside, it starts to clean itself. So the first day, uh, let's say the body eats everything from the food leftovers. On the second day, it starts to clean itself from more deeper things which were stuck. And on the third day, it starts this process as autophagia. This is when the new cells inside of our body start to eat the old cells. And during this process, everything what is old is being destroyed and a very big amount of energy is becoming free. And if you heard about such a term called steam cells, so the steam cells are the most healing and strongest cells in our bodies. And for example, when people have cancer, what uh, let's say the medicine does or how the, let's say the medicine do the money on the people, they would take out from the spine brain, the stems, stem cells, and they would put them into the place where it's cancer in hoping that this would regenerate and allow the person to heal from cancer. So this operation costs a lot of money and uh, it's not a promise that you will heal, but many people will pay this money so to survive. But eventually I'll give you a big surprise that when you are fasting for three days, then on the third day through this autophagia process inside of our body, the amount of steam cells increases in three, four times three to 400% of increase of stem cells on the third day of fasting. Would it be water fasting? Would it be dry fasting? All of that brings the process that our body starts to regenerate. So that's why uh, the three days of fasting is one of the most, most, most effective ways on how to start the healing and the cleansing process of our own avatars. So right now, what I recommend, Chef, um, that you have right now stop to do the pharmaceutical drugs. Now you have to give yourself support and love and understanding that you need to cleanse your body. Making a fast for three days momently might be stressful because if you were using for five months pharmaceuticals, then the body will push out a lot of toxins. And so, so that this toxins, um, when they're cleaning and being cleaned, it can help, uh, it can be reflected that you would have a headache or you will feel yourself discomforting. That's why I recommend to start to do it step by step. First implement intimate fasting. Start to eat, um, uh, uh, stop eating for 12 hours a day. This can be very easily done that after let's say eight o'clock in the evening, you stop eating. You can drink water, but stop eating at all. So you would go to sleep with an empty stomach. Then you sleep, you wake up, you again drink water with lemon. So you cleanse the stomach. And then eventually you have breakfast, let's say at 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. So through that 12 hours of the time, your avatar has an empty stomach. During this 12 hours, your body will work so to clean itself. So once you feel that is comfortable for you, uh, go for a 24 hour of fasting. Uh, then through the 24 hour of fasting, uh, you will cl clean even more. Once you feel yourself comfortable with that, go for 36 hours. Then once that comfortable, 48. And then after 48, you can go for the 72 hours of fasting. So do it step by step. Understand that your body is right now filled with toxins and those medications and that cleansing them uh, may, uh, might be not the most pleasant thing. But by doing this in a smooth way, so 12 hours, 24 hours, and 48 hours, and then you can go for the 72 hours, you will see that with every of this fast, you will become awakened. Your mind will become clear and you will become, will get taste to life. You will see that uh, through this fasting, uh, uh, life will become even more pleasant because your energies and your avatar will clear, your mind will become clear. You will uh, experience, uh, you don't imagine how enjoyable it is. Like if you do the dry fasting for three days, 
just for your first glass of water. <laughs> you don't imagine how tasty it is, how happy it is, and when uh, you will eat your first, first apple. And on the top of that, so to uh, go into a more professional way towards fasting, I highly recommend just to read for yourself a book called uh, exactly The Wonders of Fasting from Paul Breck. Paul Breck, The Wonders of Fasting. So this <clears throat> book, and uh, eventually this book, uh, he shows his own, uh, let's say, studies, which he did like over like 50 years. He's a great person, I think. If I remember correctly, like uh, he died uh, from a wave uh, when he was uh, going surfing at the age of 80 something. Yeah. I know this book. Uh -huh. Yeah, beautiful. So well, truly, uh, re look it through. And right now, allow yourself for the next uh, couple of months uh, to clean itself and support yourself through fasting. Intimate fasting and then increase it for bigger, bigger and bigger. And I'm sure then I can tell you, write me the update and in two months, uh, you're gonna get your taste to life, positiveness and energy back which got lost along the way through the medication. Mm -hmm. So now I'll go for uh, the next question. Do -do -do. Are back. Uh -huh. see <laughs> yeah, please, let's go now for uh, real life questions. If you have questions, please ask, let's speak. Yeah, I had questions and uh, Jackie sort of uh, answered me, but I wanted to hear you. Um, Checking for Amanita for uh, four weeks already, and after uh, three weeks, uh, I started to feel a uh, stomach pain. Uh, I can handle the pain, uh, but uh, my, I'm afraid that. Uh, it's a sign to me to stop uh, using it and I don't want to stop because she made me so wow, mm -hmm. wow. Uh, so happy, so joy and, um, and I'm asking what is the stomach pain uh, means? Mm -hmm. I, I'm taking, I, I, was, I was taking the powder uh, uh, 0 0.3 in the morning and 0 0.2 in the evening. Mm -hmm. And then I started uh, too low because of the stomach pain. And now uh, today I started uh, for the first time to drink tea. Uh, I uh, uh, the Amanita 15 grams with one cup. Uh, um, and I'm taking like a quarter of a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to ask if... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what. <laughs> Maybe you can help. Yes, of <clears throat> course. About these things, um, this is what I do on the course of Manita Muscaria Diary. I guide the people in understanding better what is happening inside uh, uh, through the process of transformation. So um, our body uh, is like a hardware, you know, like a hard disk. It saves all of the information inside of us. So every time when in life we have a situation when we suppress our feelings, our emotions, and we don't allow ourselves to be ourselves, this is being stuck inside of our system. This eventually what creates the pain, the sickness, the chronic sickness, and etc. So when we microdose, like in the beginning, um, I was uh, doing the course for one month, focusing that people would get the transformation in one month. But in practical way, what happened that many people after exactly like three weeks, four weeks, by then, this was the point when finally those suppressed codes inside of our structures start to come out. So eventually, right now, what is happening by you, you came to a point that you're ready to let go from your system, everything what you gathered through the spirit of your past life. And right now is happening that transformation process, which is just reflected, for example, stomach pain. You have to understand that any type of pain, it's actually just codes, like literally codes, which start to rise up. So now your psychic, 
your consciousness and you are ready to look in into that pain which before that you didn't want to see it you know like you didn't want to see that but now you're ready and it starts to rise up so now you have to continue the work now you have to look in now you have to ask yourself what is this pain because typically stomach it's exactly suppression of feelings so you can uh, literally uh, for what i very like ayurveda knowledge that this science it comes from the previous civilization but they have studied all of this you know they studied all of this you can simply understand have stomach pain you can go on google and write down stomach pain ayurveda why i have pain in stomach and it will show you what is the problem and the blocking um, in your physical body what is the blocking on your emotional body and what is the blocking on your mental body in your thoughts so our consciousness it it is always located or in the physical body when we feel feel it when we feel our body or our consciousness it is in an emotional state in the emotions that we're living through or our consciousness is in the mental body the mental body it's exactly the logic the thinking process the imagination past future everything so on all of this level there's a specific blocking which is inside of you which you have to under understand once you make a conclusion once you understand um, uh, the conclusion of the conflict inside boom, it transforms so that's why now you're going to the next level of healing process so in the beginning kamanita it opened to you the powers that happiness that strength for you to remember how it feels to be alive and now it is helping you to go to the next level of healing that you would feel like that always not only through Ma amanita but after amanita that you would have the state of energy of consciousness and happiness and that only you can allow yourself to unfold so that's why after like three four weeks it's very often that the uh people come like to the next phase just of healing that's why it's good to use a manita and to do this conscious work like for two months at least but usually like two three months depending on the health conditions or just uh, uh considering just what is happening because every time it works individually but the first month very often it is just the beginning of the transformation and now after that you just have to continue to follow your path of healing and allow yourself just to look in into those things which before that you were maybe were afraid or you were not ready or the psychic really didn't want to see that this is called like kind of beyond the vision but with the manita and the strength you start to kind of open up and see those problems uh which you have yes you're welcome maya uh so eventually just uh, continue just uh, uh allow you yourself for powder or the liquid uh... oh, but, so for me it's actually a little bit uh you no know, partly funny that people are making tea out of like 15 grams of a manita and then afterwards they like keep it in the fridge and etc why to do it you have the powder like when you have the powder it won't spoil you just put the powder uh the, how much you need uh, into the tea in the morning and you just drink it because uh, like making a big tea and then uh, it will uh, like it can spoil when you put a lot of amanitas and then eventually but it's a lot better to use the powder or simply when you want to use it you just put this powder like uh, zero three grams um, into the tea and you just boil it in 50 60 degrees water i don't know add lemon and honey and just enjoy a fresh amanita tea there's absolutely, I don't know from where this information came, I think maybe from America, that you have to make like 15 grams of omarita and then like put it in the fridge. But you understand this, uh, when it's dry, it won't spoil. But if you boil it afterwards, like the healing properties will decrease with uh, every moment of the day that you keep it in the fridge. Only if you freeze it, only then you can save it. But it's a lot simple just to use the powder and just to make a fresh tea with that amount what you need every day. That's it. Okay, thank you very much.
You're welcome. You're welcome. So, yeah, uh, are there uh, any other such uh, uh, questions, which uh, important ones, which uh, you would like to discover today? I want to say something if I could. Um, Stefan. Um, we just, yeah, we just had a, a sharing meeting with Johan in Switzerland last time, and there was uh, some really, also I would also recommend for everybody like to be in touch with people like Vadim and others who do microdosing because I feel that this is a big connection and we can really learn from each other crazy amount of stuff. So we had a, a doctor, a woman, she was a doctor once there and she got some insights. You probably also know that it's a different than to put just the Amanita in the, in the capsule down there in the stomach or you really uh, make a tea or take the powder and put it in the mouth and then do like... Um, what is the world uh, word insulated, you know, like, yeah, you know, because the, as I also, even before I take the first sip, I can feel the energy, you know, so I started also now to put a, a, a little sip in my mouth and then do for five minutes, really put it around and it's, it's another effect, you know, so I just wanted to share that this is sometimes special. And we, we had people, you know, they put three capsules and feel nothing, you know. So there was the advice, hey, maybe you try out to really, like you should do it with the eating, you know. You get in touch up here and not just down there. And this, this person had also like, uh, how do you say when it's just going outside in the back, you know. Um, so it's a lot different. So I just wanted to share that that's probably also something uh, we can experiment with, you know. So, no. <laughs> Thank you very much, Stefan. And for sure, I support that uh, because we have to understand Musamol it has the effect of the brain. And of course, if you use um, the fresh mushroom, well, let's say just the mushroom in your mouth, here the saline and everything, it's very closely connected to the brain. This is like the fastest way to approach it. So that's why if you will have direct connection in your mouth with Amanita, of course, it will be a lot faster going in and having a lot more faster like connection rather than that we would eat the pill and uh, it would be like in the stomach. This uh, aspect of uh, the pills, um, like, you know, like we were the ones who created this Amanita Muscara microdosing pill simply because um, we were also aiming on the elderly people who don't, who don't have connection with mushrooms who are afraid of using natural things, but they were educated from the childhood to eat pills. <laughs> you understand? Like for them, you give them amanita, it's like, no, 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 no. You give them, this is a magical pill, it will help you. It's like, oh, pill, give me, give me. So eventually that's why we put the amanita into the pills for the elderly, especially like generations who love to eat pills. But this aspect, I personally, I love always to use the powder. I always love to put the mushrooms into my mouth. And of course, it always has a more profound and quicker effect. I usually put it and then I communicate with Amanita. I ask the things which are important for me. And every time it's like an individual connection. As if every time I put Amanita into my mouth, I talk with it every time. And I ask specifically what I want right now which effect or what to discover or what to receive during this connection. So for of that reason, uh, for sure, if you have the opportunity, uh, better to use like pure natural amanita or the powder into the mouth rather than the like the pills. Uh, the pills, now you know, they were made especially for the people who are afraid of nature, who are afraid of mushrooms, who don't have yet their connections and experience with them. So for their mind, it would be a lot more peaceful no, to use it and to have the effect. So, uh, yeah, maybe uh, now I'll just uh, share a couple of uh, final words. Uh, uh, that uh, first of all, I want to give my deep gratitude for everybody for joining up. I hope that uh, today you found for yourself some valuable and interesting information, which will help you to move on through your development and the discovery of yourself and Amanita. And uh, at the same time, I want to share an invitation that uh, everyone uh, who feels a call that this information is important for you and that it helps you and then you want to discover more deeper about the work with Amanita, 
that uh, at the end of this week, on the weekend, I'm going to start uh, uh, the Amanita Muscaria diary course. And that during this diary course, I decided to make it now for two months, that eventually with all people who are working with Amanita or have worked with Amanita, that you would have those tools to do it effectively, that you would have those tools to work upon yourself the work of your consciousness, the aspect of rewriting your programs inside of your brain in understanding how to connect and make it clear what is important for you from the soul and to bring it to a conscious level in your mind. Uh, all of this um, I'm sharing and guiding and uh, keeping the space for all of us. So uh, eventually, if you want to join, uh, just let me know. This is my final course, which I will organize uh, for such a cheap price. For two months, it will cost uh, 700 euros. If somebody wants, there's another option uh, of having uh, four personal consultations with me throughout this two months. So we would make the call every two weeks. So to follow up and to focus on your individual, let's say, problems or issues or requests that we would look through individually with you and uh, that costs uh, 1,500 euros as uh, after that uh, uh, this course will be transformed and the participation will already cost more than one and a half thousand euros this is my final call and invitation for all people who let's say want to work with the money that let's say don't have so much money but still want to let's say get the transformation and results Right now, I'm focusing on writing a book. So this year will come out also a book about the effect of work with Amanita so that we would eventually, let's say, I want that this book would become a fundament for people you know, like to understand the principle of the work with Amanita in the understanding that uh, you not know, everything what I shared, that is a tool. You are the magic. If you won't request, if you won't do the work, if you want, uh, let's say, yeah, make the actions towards the things that you requested, no magic will happen. But if you do it, then yes, then uh, you will have such a story which will be even very hard to share with the rest of the people. Uh, just so uh, all of your friends will see how you're becoming more happy, that you're becoming more healthy, that you're becoming more and more independent from the people around, from their opinions or the things that are happening. And uh, you will receive that opportunity to become, um, well, you can say charismatic. As I told you, charismatic people are simply people who are themselves, who can uh, just uh, be open and honest as with themselves and being open and honest with the surrounding people. So everybody who I guide, I guide very profoundly and sincerely and keep everybody under my protection. So um, uh, if you feel like the call to it, just uh, write me a personal message um, uh, in Telegram. You have my contacts. It's uh, at Taiva Shiva. And actually soon uh, I'm going to change my nickname. You know which nickname I got? Amanita Muscaria. So soon in, uh, in Telegram, uh, I will be simply Amanita Muscaria. <laughs> but for now, I'm still using my old nickname. So uh, I'm very happy to see your smiles and that light and energy through your eyes. May this year be the most happy and the most blissful and the most, uh, you know, result of an easy year in our lives. May all of us let go of the illusions of thinking that life is hard. And let's again enjoy it in the same beautiful way as we did when we were four or five years old. Let's come to the standards which we had in our childhood so that every day would be an unbelievable, magical day. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you, Vadim. Namaste. See you. Thank you. Amazing. Bless you all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I'll upload afterwards our today's talk so if there's anything that you want to repeat just have a look so loves and blessings to all of you see you <laughs>